In this tutorial, we will be looking at powers with matching bases. When we have an equation with powers on each side, we can solve for an exponent that is a variable when the bases are the same. Let's review an idea quickly first. When looking at an equation, it is important to remember that the two sides of the equation are considered equal. This is why there is an equal sign in the middle. Now which of the following are true statements? 3 equals 3 is true. 2 equals 5, false. 2 plus 5 equals 7, true. This idea that both sides are equal allows us to solve for variables when they are a part of the equation. 3 equals x. Just by looking at this, we know that x equals 3, because 3 equals 3. 4 equals 2 plus x. Again, we can solve algebraically by subtracting 2 from each side to get x equals 2, or just knowing that we need x to equal 2 because 2 plus 2 equals 4. Good. Now that we have refreshed quickly on this idea, let's move on. Consider the following example. 2 to the power of 3 equals 2 to the power of 3. We have the exact same powers on each side of the equal sign, so this statement is true. Now consider this. 2 to the power of 3 equals 2 to the power of x. We know from our previous example that x equals 3 in order for both powers to be equal. And here, 4 to the power of 5 equals 4 to the power of x. By inspection, we know that x equals 5 for this to be true. From this we see that if we have a power on each side of the equation with matching bases, the exponents are equal to each other. Here is an example that is a little harder. 3 to the power of x equals 9. We just said that when the bases are matching in an equation with powers on each side of the equal sign, that the exponents are equal to each other. And now we have an example with a power and a number with no exponent. How do we solve for x if we don't have two powers with matching bases to compare? Let's rewrite 9 as a power. 9 is the same as 3 to the power of 2. So 3 to the power of x equals 9 can be written as 3 to the power of x equals 3 to the power of 2. Now by inspection, we have x equals 2. Have you noticed the trend between the exponents and your final answer yet? When the bases are the same, we can actually drop our exponents down to solve for x. 5 to the power of x equals 5 to the power of 11. Drop your exponents, and you have x equals 11. Why write this down, though, when you can just look at the equation and see that x has to be 11 for both sides to be equal? Consider the following example. 4 to the power of 2x minus 6 equals 4 to the power of 12. I don't know about you, but I can't just look at that and know what x should be for both sides to be equal. But, because our bases are the same, we can drop down our exponents to get 2x minus 6 equals 12. Now we can solve for x. Add 6 to both sides to get 2x equals 18. Divide both sides by 2, and we get x equals 9. Now, let's replace x into our original equation to see if this works. We now have 4 to the power of 2 times 9 minus 6 equals 4 to the power of 12. 2 times 9 minus 6 equals 18 minus 6, which equals 12. So we have 4 to the power of 12 equals 4 to the power of 12. In this lesson, you learned three ideas around matching bases. First, you can solve for an exponent by inspection when you have two matching bases. Second, you can manipulate a number to change it into exponent form to create an equation with matching bases to solve for a variable exponent. Third, when you have matching bases, you can drop down your exponents to solve for a variable within one of those exponents.